Hi, I'm Clyde Bentley, and this is my sugar patch, my uh, maple uh, tr orchard, maple tree orchard. It's actually about nine trees behind my house, but every year I collect uh, sap from them by tapping the trees, uh, like this. Tapping it and it goes down a hose to a bucket. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day in the winter, Mar February, and uh, that's what we need. We need the trees to freeze at night, trees below freezing at night, and then in the daytime, the sun comes and warms the trunk of the tree, and that pressurizes the sap in there, and it comes out the hoses uh, into the bucket. And then I come by, and I collect it. That's a good bunch of sap here. And then I have a, what looks like a barbecue, but it's a boiler and I uh, boiled down the sap. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of uh, syrup. So there's a lot of boiling. Uh, and it, uh, it's kind of fun. It gives me a, a, a little boy excuse to poke sticks in the fire for hours. Now you can look around here and you can see white buckets on uh, that are collecting sap from different trees. And our house is up above here with the boiler back behind me. This is my sap boiler, or better known as an evaporator. It's a uh, set of blocks with a three gallon pan on top of it. Uh, and it's fired by wood. Put it in here. And it uh, boils pretty well. I have to boil it down, like I said, 40 gallons of sap is going to make one gallon of, of uh, syrup. Uh, this pot on top here is where I put uh, some sap in to preheat, uh, using up the waste heat out of the chimney, and then I'll add that to the pot as I go along. Once it's down, it's down to, I've got about a half an inch of, of sap in the bottom of the pan and it started to turn a darker color. Then I'll bring it inside and I'll continue boiling it and watching it and taking the temperature. It has to get to seven and a half degrees above the boiling point on that day. So you check the boiling point that day. It's usually between 119 and 120 degrees here. Once it hits that point, it turns to syrup. You take it out and strain it. Uh, and I either put it in a jars to let it settle or I'll just go ahead and bottle it, seal it, label it, and then it's ready for pancakes for the next year.